let's just say that a certain driver of mine won the second Harvest Grand Prix. Woo! What is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with the Impress. This is the 31st episode of the series, and today we're going to be talking about the 2020 Harvest Grand Prix at the Indianapolis Road Course that took place last Friday, last Saturday. And I gotta say, coming into that race, I was expecting another boring fest because IndyCar racing at the Indianapolis Road Course has not been the greatest unless there's rain and all that stuff. And I gotta say, I was very shocked about how amazing the race was. It was great for a caution-free race. It had a lot of action. I gotta say that. Hey, Charlie. And um, honestly, I wanted to make this video because there's something interesting about IndyCar racing at the Indianapolis Road Course. And I figured out something. The Indianapolis Road Course for IndyCar is great when we have either rain or cold temperatures. Because if you guys, in case if you guys did not know, um, the Indianapolis road course has not been the greatest when it comes to hot temperatures. And I pretty much, I think a lot of people figured that out um, after Friday's race. So yeah. So what happened at the first Harvest Grand Prix? So Renus VK got his first career IndyCar pull at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Road course, and I gotta say, Rena's VK has been very impressive this year. I feel like he has a chance that he'll win the 2020 IndyCar uh, NTT IndyCar Series Rookie of the Year. For an Ed Carpenter Racing driver, he's done an amazing job. He's done a better job than Spencer Piggott. I love Spencer Piggott, but let's just say Rena's VK has gotten my attention. And the entire race, there has been a lot of action. Um. Green flag passes has been well, the battle leads. And then Santino Ferrucci being Santino Ferrucci. And um, no disrespect to Ferrucci. I know, although he's a controversial driver, but I got no hate on him on the IndyCar side yet. Um, I believe there was contact and spin between Ryan Hunter Ray and I believe it was Renas VK, not Renas VK, Santino Ferrucci. I said Rena's VK about Ferrucci. I'm sorry. Um, and then there was a lot of action between Colton Herta and Santino Ferrucci. Once again, because Middle Ohio Race 2, it was the same way. Herta pushed Ferrucci off the track, and the Ferrucci caused uh, Felix Rosa quiz at Alex Palou's race on the first lap. And then here, and then here we are. Ferrucci and Colton Herta going at it again. Could we see an Indy rival? Could we see an IndyCar rivalry between Colton Herta and Santino Ferrucci? Hmm. And then obviously my favorite part about the first race was Colton Herta on the radio after the battle with Santino Ferrucci. He said, and I quote, ha ha, wanker. Damn, Colton Herta. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then a lot of action happened. And of course, typical Will Powers pit crew messing up as usual. But hey, at least he managed to finish six. Not a top five, but hey, finishes six, top 10. I'll take it, whatever. Joseph Newgarden manages to win the first Indianapolis Harvest Grand Prix race. Congratulations to my good friend, Blue Jimmy 48 fan, for his driver on winning the first race. And I gotta say, that's a big help for just a new garden in points. And Dixon finished somewhere at the bottom of top 10. So yeah, new garden gained big points coming into Indy Grand Prix and finished in the first race. And then the second race, once again, cold temperatures. We did see good racing, but I will admit that the Harvest Grand Prix, the first one was better. However, the second race was, the second race was awesome as well. And yes, there was a lot of action. And then, oh shit, uh, the closing laps routine, Will Power, 
Dakota Herda, and Alexander Rossi. Willpower versus Andretti Autosports. That is just, oh my God. That was exciting. Although Herda couldn't pass power because the push the pass is like, oh, you gotta have, oh, you gotta be close enough to get to a driver in front, push the pass, go around that driver. I don't know. Ugh. I mean, IndyCar has only two gimmicks, so NASCAR fans can, so NASCAR fans have no right to talk about gimmicks because NASCAR has a lot of gimmicks. And IndyCar what? Has only two double points and push the passes. Formula One has DCRs, so that's like one, I think. So NASCAR fans have no right to talk about gimmicks. Anyway, so the race was just, it was awesome. The closing laps was awesome. Um, and then guess what? Willie P got his second win of 2020. Yes, sir. Let's go. Woo! And I do want to apologize for not having reactions at the Harvest Grand Prix. I was busy with my dad's, um, we were doing like an early birthday celebration for my dad's birthday. It was cool. We had, we had, we ate at Longhorn Steakhouse last night. Saturday, there was, it was a birthday celebration. His birthday was yesterday. Uh, just to clear that out, make life simpler to you guys. And so, yeah. So, I'm sorry that I couldn't do reactions to those races. However, the Harvest Grand Prix this weekend was truly amazing. Amazing weekend. It was just... One of the best double headers of the year alongside with Road America in Mid Ohio. Iowa was decent. I'm not really sure what else. Um, yeah, so jo Joseph Newgarden wins the first race at the Harvest Grand Prix. And Will Power finished um, first. I I'm stupid. Will Power won the second Harvest Grand Prix. I believe Colton Herrera finished the second, and Rossi finished third. And I believe Rossi finished third because he had some penalty. I don't. I really don't know 100% what happened there. Um. So. So Rinas VK, I believe, finished second uh, on Friday. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really know what happened to Alexander Rossi, how he got penalty. Someone else, feel, feel free to tell me in the comments below. So, yeah. It was a great weekend, great doubleheader. So what did we learn about Indy cars at the Indianapolis road course? The Indianapolis road course for Indy car is amazing and better if we have rain or colder temperatures. Because if you have an Indy car race in like in a hot day, it's just it's just not it. The races are not good. So unfortunately, we will have two Indianapolis. Uh, Grand Prix races next year for IndyCar. One for the month of May. The other one with the NASCAR doubleheader. Yes. Honestly, why can't we have one Indy Grand Prix? I bet the August one is not as bad. Be Although it's in the summer because I don't know, honestly. But I feel like... Oh, crap, Charlie's eating something. <sighs> Sorry about that. Charlie had something in his mouth and I had to deal with that. Anyway, so... What we learned, and what I learned, honestly, is that IndyCar Grand Prix races at Indy is better if there's rain or cold temperatures. And personally, I feel like, why can't we just have one Indy Grand Prix? And why can't it be, like, in the fall? Because look what happened when you have the IndyCar Grand Prix uh, at, at, at fall. Look what happened. Good results. I don't know why we need two next year. Both of them are in the heat. So that's not, so that's going to suck. But regardless, I prefer only one Indianapolis Road Course for, uh, for IndyCar. Other than that, it was a great weekend on the IndyCar side. Worth watching, unlike NASCAR, Taldega. You guys know the previous episode. Um, so yeah, great weekend at Indianapolis Road Course. It was awesome to see the fans again. Renus VK was impressive all weekend long. The young drivers did an amazing job. Colton Herta, Alexander Rossi, they did an amazing job. So yeah, and it's awesome to see Elio Castaneda back and James Sinclair back behind the wheel. So yeah, great weekend. Can't wait for St. Petersburg. And we have a championship battle between Scott Dixon and Joseph Newgarden. Who is your pick to be the 2020 
NTT IndyCar Series Championship. Sorry about that. I just, I keep messing up. I do want to apologize. So who's your pick uh, for championship? Scott Dixon or Joseph Newgarden? Because Newgarden, he's coming. So Scott Dixon and his fans should be worrying. Let's see how it goes. Feel free to tell me in the comments below. Just and tell me who do you want to see who's champion. And also, Will Powers is fourth in points, so he may be third at the end of the season if he does do well there. Uh, hopefully, 2021 is a better season for power. So, I can't wait for St. Petersburg. We're going to have an awesome championship battle. Suck on that NASCAR. You don't need some stick and ball sports to create uh, a championship battle. NASCAR, you suck. <laughs> Uh, why don't you be a motorsports series and not a freaking stick and ball sports NASCAR? Suck on that. Woo! I can't wait for St. Petersburg. Great job, IndyCar, for not being NASCAR. Whew. Although their schedule sucks next year, but hey, we at least they're a motorsports series unlike NASCAR. Anyway, so that's going to do it for today's video. A positive episode unlike the Taldega one. So yeah, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm improse25 and improse48 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, inasco 40 Nation films Don't forget to follow me on Reddit, u slash improse48. Thank you all for supporting E Nation. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Thank you all for supporting E Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Go, Will Power. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.